Facebook ads are notoriously known to rack up sales or rack up debt. With money on the line, every Facebook ad can cause you stress. The best way to get the most out of your investment is to make sure that every part of your ad is tailored to your business. Today, I'll teach you exactly how to format your Facebook ad in the last part of our free Facebook ads course. By the end of this video, you'll know the best placements for your Facebook ad, how to budget for your ad, and you'll have a winning ad copy template. Ready to get started? Watch on. Hey everyone, it's Jessica from Oberlo. Today I'm going to be walking you through the third part of our Facebook ads course for beginners. In the last video, we covered campaign objectives and we also talked about building an audience for your ad. In case you missed it, you can click here to watch that second video. Facebook marketing can be used with almost any business, but in this course, I'm going to focus on the best strategies for creating a Facebook ad for a dropshipping store. Dropshipping is one of the easiest ways to start an online business, because instead of buying tons of inventory for your store, you only order products when you get sales. Your supplier ships your orders for you, so you can sell all over the world. Make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss our tutorials, dropshipper interviews, and product recommendations every Tuesday and Thursday. In the last video, we determined what countries to show our ad to, and we built our first Facebook audience. Today, I'll be focusing on the last part of creating a Facebook ad, the budget and the ad creative. Let's get started. To follow along, jump back into Facebook Business Manager. Click the menu in the top left corner and then click on Ads Manager. Click on the Create Ad button. The ad that you started in the first course should pop up and allow you to continue where you left off. I'm going to jump into my screen and we're gonna continue where we left off in the second course. In the placement section, you can decide exactly where you want your ad to show up. Think back to the last time you were on Facebook. There are ads in the news feed, the sidebar, and even on mobile. These are intentionally chosen when building a Facebook ad. If you leave the placement on automatic, Facebook will put your ad anywhere it thinks it could get the most engagement. However, your goal as a dropshipper is to ultimately make sales, so we're going to edit placements. Even though our campaign objective was set to view content, our goal is to engage potential customers. Although editing placements will reduce the number of people your ad will reach, it will be more effective because you're targeting more people who might be potential customers. For example, if you're selling iPhone cases, then you most likely want to show your ad on mobile devices. Device types determines whether you want your ad to be shown while someone is browsing on their computer or on their mobile device. While all devices is recommended by Facebook, many dropshippers prefer only to show their ads on mobile devices. There's no right or wrong answer here, and the only way to know which one works for you is to test it. We can leave this on all devices because afterwards you'll be able to see a breakdown of where your ad has had more success. Underneath devices, you'll see platforms. Platforms are where your ad can be placed in each channel. As you go down the list, you should start to recognize all the places you've seen ads before. While all platforms can be used successfully, there is one that is unanimously deselected by most dropshippers, and that platform is Audience Network. Audience Networks are websites Facebook is partnered with. Although this drops the estimated engagement, it's for the best because engagement on this platform is usually not from strong customer leads. So it's better to target other platforms that will bring qualified customers to your website. Once you've deselected audience networks, you can leave the rest. Many dropshippers will only have one or two platforms that they end up choosing, but this is a better thing to decide on after you've tested your first ad. The results of that ad will show you which platform your ad works best on. The next section is the most fear-inducing for most Facebook ad beginners. It's the section where you determine your budget. You can decide exactly how long the Facebook ad will be running and how much to spend per day. As your daily budget increases, so will the reach of your Facebook ad. So if you spend more, it will be seen more. But be careful. Just because more people see your ad doesn't mean more people will necessarily click on your ad or purchase something from your store. One of the biggest fears when running Facebook ads is that you won't make back the money you spent. Although this is a valid fear, there are two important lessons you need to remember. 
First, there is always a risk of losing money when you're running Facebook ads. As you run more campaigns, you'll reduce this risk, but that risk will never completely go away. A dropshipping store is a business, and there are always risks when starting a business. The goal of your first ad is to mine data about your audience. Just because you don't convert a customer the first time around doesn't mean you failed. You can use the data from this ad to increase the effectiveness of your next ones. When it comes to deciding how much to spend per day on your Facebook ads, you should consider what you're willing to spend in total. This is because Facebook ads require a minimum of three to five days to really start showing accurate results. Just like you need to spend some time finding the best audience for your ad, so does Facebook. I've seen so many dropshippers make this mistake. They invest all of their money into one ad and cut it off after not seeing results in the first one to two days. This is not the right strategy, guys. When you're running Facebook ads, you want to spend the first first few days and the first few ads finding data on your target customer. You might see sales, but if you don't, that's okay because the information you get from this first ad will help bring in the sales later. For this reason, you want to set a daily budget for your ad that will allow it to run for a few days and allow for you to run more ads after that. So I suggest entering a daily budget of $5 or in my case, five euros and allowing your ad to run for three to five days. You can schedule your ad to run continuously, but I wouldn't suggest that for your first ad unless you are already making a profit. The advanced options below allow you to customize the way Facebook bids your budget on the ads. While this can make a big impact, I would suggest leaving the default for all of them except conversion window. Conversion window determines the amount of time allowed for someone to complete an action through your ad. I suggest selecting seven days after clicking. It's a well-known marketing fact that people need to see an ad multiple times before they engage. This option will repeat the ad up to seven days after the initial impression. Okay, our ad set is complete, so let's press continue. On the next page, you can start designing your ad. Double check under identity that your store's Facebook page and Instagram account are selected. This is the page that will be linked to your ad, so it's very important to make sure it is the correct one. Scroll down to format to start building the ad that your audience will see. First, you need to choose the format of your ad. You can show a single image or video, a carousel, or a collection. The more dynamic the media, the more likely it will grab your customer's attention. And this is why videos have a very high click-through rate and are popular with dropshippers. That's just a general rule, but you will need to test that rule to see which one works best for your product and your audience. For the purpose of this course, I'm going to use a single image to keep things simple. If you don't have a video or you don't have the product on hand to make a video, you can use a single image as well. There are many successful dropshippers who use single image ads and get sales. So click single image or video. Now, there are a few places you can use to find an image for your ad. First, check to see if your supplier has any high quality photos of the product in action. And just a note that images with a human in it perform much better according to the Facebook algorithm than images without a human. You can also check one of many free stock photo websites on the internet to find relevant content. Burst.shopify.com has tons of free stock photos and many of them are of dropshipping products. Unsplash also has free stock photography, but not only of products, it has a variety of images that could work well on your website and in ads. If you need to edit your images for any reason, I suggest going to Canva. Canva is a free image editing tool and it'll let you design anything you need for your ads. You can use Canva to resize images so they're the optimal size for Facebook ads, which is 1200 by 628 pixels. I used Canva to create this ad using two photos from my supplier and combining them with a graphic that I found for free on Canva. I downloaded this image to my computer so that I can use it back in Facebook Ads Manager. Once you've decided on the media you're going to use, it's time for the last part of creating your ad. The last section is called links, and this is where you can edit the text of your ad. There is a live ad preview on the right where you can see exactly what your ad will look like to your audience. Next, we're going to create the text to display above our ad. If you don't know what to write, I have a simple template to follow. First, make a short attention-grabbing statement related to your product. If you really want people to stop what they're doing and pay attention to your ad, try asking a question. For example, I'll write, is your puppy's water bottle as cute as your puppy? Second, list your promotion and use niche related keywords to communicate scarcity. You want the person who's scrolling past your ad to stop and take an action right now. So I'll write, buy one, get one free, plus free shipping, quench your puppy's thirst. 
I included a little emoji there, and it's important to remember that emojis are a great way to catch your customer's attention. They also convey a more casual tone to your ad, and it's almost like a text message you're sending to a friend. Third, directly link to the product that you're promoting. You can use Bitly to create a shortened version of the URL that's more aesthetically pleasing. So all right, shop for a limited time, bit.ly slash the thirsty pup. Below, under website URL, you can enter your store. Make sure that you link directly to your product page. This is one of the biggest mistakes I see new dropshippers make. You need to make it as easy as possible for your customers to go to the product they just saw in the ad. So you don't want to direct them to your homepage and make them look for the product that they're visiting for. Next, change the call to action to shop now. Under headline, you can repeat your promotion. This is shown right below your photo beside the call to action button. All right, buy one, get one free. Cute dog water bottle. You can leave the advanced options to the default settings for your first ad. Give it one more preview and then click confirm. That's it. Your first Facebook ad is finished. Amazing job. It will now be sent to Facebook's team to be reviewed. Once approved, it will start running. If you followed our videos all the way to this point, then congratulations. Creating and running your first Facebook ad is a huge challenge. Now that you've made your first one, it'll only become easier over time. Remember that the goal of your first few Facebook ads is to warm up your pixel and get information about your audience. If you don't see sales after a few days, that's okay. You can use the data you've gathered to launch better and better ads. Okay, it's homework time. Here's how it's going to work. I'm going to ask questions. Then join me on Tuesday, May 7th at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for a live q and I'll share the answers and I'll also address any questions you have about creating your first Facebook ad. Here are the homework questions. Number one, what is the one ad placement dropshippers unanimously agree not to use? Is it A, the Facebook sidebar, B, audience networks, or C, the Instagram newsfeed? Question two, how long should you let an ad run before deciding to cut it or leave it be? Is it A, one to two days, B, three to five days, or C, seven to 10 days? Make sure to hit subscribe and turn on post notifications for our next video. We're going to dive into the results of our Facebook ad and show you which metrics matter. We'll also give you tips for adjusting your ads so they perform better the second time around. Thanks for watching. And until next time, learn often, market better, and sell more.